This is integrated math 3 practice test. We're in subpart 1, so no calculator, not like you'll need it on this question. Question number 7. The question says a scientist wants to find the water quality of a river. He collects 100 water samples and runs quality tests on that water. Which method of water collection will give him the most accurate result? Now, if he wants to measure something to be consistent, he tries to get things to be as alike as possible when he measures. But when he's trying to measure water quality, he wants things to be um, the widest array of data that he can get because he doesn't want to add bias in. So what we're looking for is the most, what's the least restrictive uh, sampling set that he can get. So A says collecting water from the same point in the river every Monday. That's really limited. I mean, you could basically find out what happens on Mondays. And if you have some, I don't know, maybe a factory that dumps sewage into the uh, river around that time, it's probably going to be worse than it would be normally. Or there could be other things involved, animal movements and things that would make Monday worse for some reason. B, collecting water on different days of the week from the same point in the river. Again, it's better. He's uh, collecting from different days, so he's not limiting himself just to Mondays, but he's still getting it from the same point in the river over and over again. And if you're near where tourists are going to be, the water quality may be different uh, than you know places where there aren't a lot of people, more you know private or public land that's well taken care of. C, collecting water from different parts of the river every Monday. This is sort of the uh, almost the vice vice versa of B. He does get more data. Uh, from different parts of the water, so that's a qual that's a good move. But still, it's only every Monday, and who knows what happens on Monday morning or Sunday night to make that uh, be very consistent, but not a real good scope of what the river's actually doing. And finally, collecting water from different parts of the river on different days. So he's checking two boxes here. Different parts of the river, different days of the week, so he's not limited to what happens on one day, he's not limited to one specific area. This will give him the best overall results in terms of accuracy to say something about the water as a whole as opposed or the river as a whole as opposed to just a, a single point in that river on specific days or whatever it happens to be so the most freedom the least restrictive assessment tactic is D and that is the correct answer to this question I guess I could circle it that way for the people who are like don't want to listen but want to see me circle done uh, audience number one